Here at Durham we are really committed to students exploring the nature of social work in, in a variety of different ways. How we do that is through taught sessions in the classroom with a vast um, complement of practitioners, of service users and carers, experts by experience, as well as academics from this discipline and from further afield. Um, more than that, we have practice placements within a vast um, arena of um, fields within social work and we have a dissertation module, Research in Social Work, where we really ensure that our social work students become research-minded and, and understand the impact of research on their practice and on policy. Carleen Furman joining the department is, is a huge plus for Durham. It's going to have a huge um, benefit, not only for the course and the department, but also for the broader community. It's not just about changing the way we look at extra familial harm um, in terms of child and family safeguarding, but it's also about how do we integrate those systems into the local authorities, um, how do we integrate them nationally and internationally. So within the research networks that we have, so the Centre for Research into Violence and Abuse and Communities and Social Justice, that already exist in a really, really strong internationally reputable um, research networks that we have here, having her and her team here is really going to strengthen those networks and add an extra dimension to them as well. A lot of disruptions caused by the pandemic is not yet, or back then was not yet uh, fully understood and responded to. And we happen to have a chance uh, to use the data collected by uh, Baswa back then. They collected uh, 2,222 qualitative responses uh, from social workers to explore and understand the experiences of social workers during COVID-19. Um, that offers a very good opportunity for us to analyze the data together with social workers uh, so that we can actually look at you know, what we can learn from this and to move forward. Social work students in particular have worked really, really closely with all of our community partners. So they adapted very, very quickly and very efficiently in terms of online, in-person supporting, but also as a whole, the university has a really, really strong volunteering base. Um, we're a collegiate system, so all of the colleges have worked around supporting food banks, supporting um, families who needed extra tutoring when their children weren't able to access programs. The program itself has had students coming back to work as family workers, to work in children and families teams. They've had um, a huge amount of work on the ground at grassroots level around actually what do these local communities need, what aren't they able to access through strategy services and what can the voluntary sector offer. The university has been doing a lot of research uh, and work in the decolonisation of the curriculum and we'll have a number of members of staff who very much have been focusing on what does decolonisation mean to uh, academic staff uh, and students and how can we take this knowledge and actually change the curriculum to be more diverse. Decolonisation at the university hasn't just focused on race and ethnicity but it's actually broadened the definition so it's also incorporated uh, intersectionality by focusing on social class, uh, disability, age, gender etc. Uh, and we've really been trying to work that in across the curriculum, in particular the social work curriculum. So the Master of Social Work program hasn't just had an impact on my learning but on my identity, um, on who I am as a person, on how I see the world, on how I interact with other people. Um, it's created a whole trajectory for my, for my career, my aspirations and underpins absolutely everything that I do in terms of working to support people and social justice and anti-oppressive practice.